decal right on there and the black is not going to show, show up. So I'll rotate this to a 90 degree angle. Oops, need to put the snap on. Right there, 90 degree angle. Now, you don't need this to be attached to your mesh. It's okay that it's away from it. You're just going to want to put it basically against the wall so people don't, like, oh, here, this decal's floating in the air. I'm going to try to make it look kind of realistic. So, you can just look and eyeball it if you need to. And if it's looking like that and you go sideways and you can't see, right click on your perspective click flat don't worry that will go away no problems so for this tutorial for purposes it's uh, it's close enough okay it's nice and big and maybe you want to put like a blue decal over here so it's like the blue and the red side but I'm just gonna leave this as a marker as this is gonna be the red side okay so now um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add another box over here and this box is I'm gonna call it the frame you need a frame so now go ahead go to this uh, chain linking two boxes together click it select both your any mesh that isn't your frame go ahead and drop it on your frame to make sure you did this correctly click on this little uh, clicker button pointer and then click on the little thing here. Now as you can see this is indented uh, under the frame which is good. Now if yours isn't indented just go down here to the bottom of this dialog and make sure that display subtree is uh, on because if it isn't it's going to look like this. So make sure that's on. Now even if this is on and it doesn't do that little indent thing that means you did it wrong so you need to redo that. Just uh, keep trying to get that frame, that, uh, frame linked to everything. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm going to quick do a quick import of the Master Chief. And this is where the Gearbox Model Importer comes in. Uh, because I want to make sure that this map is a nice size. Because we want a place where we can set up all kinds of game types and vehicles and stuff. And, you know, rocks and trees. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Characters. Cyborg. Cyborg.GearboxModel and I'm going to go ahead and not import those two leave all that so it doesn't import any new shaders and say import okay as you can see this model is really small that's what I was figuring so I'm going to take my resize and resize this map until it's really big because you know I would just want to make sure that this is a big enough map for like uh, setting up everything because I need to show you all the different things you gotta do when making when setting up your map so let's see Master Chief he just disappeared let's see there he is now this may look like this map is just huge but when you get in game it gets a lot smaller quickly um, so this game this size you know this is actually uh, a little small still okay that works I suppose okay now it's time we can go ahead and delete him so now this is basically ready so now I'm gonna save this I wanna make sure nothing gets lost because sometimes max crash I'm just gonna call this bliss b-l-i-s-s -S. just the name of the map this is kinda random whatever you wanna name it no spaces though and no capital letters Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and export this. So I'm going to go to the export and I'm going to go to my computer, C, Program Files, Microsoft Games, Hail Custom Edition, Data, Levels, make a new folder. I'm going to call it Bliss. Go in here, make a new folder, call it Models. Go into models and call it bliss.jms. And if you look, you can see that I have my JMS right here. 
So I'll just, you know, select JMS, list that JMS, save it, and if all goes well, that should work just fine. Now, to make sure that this is working okay, I'm going to go ahead and save it one more time, and I can exit it. Okay. Well, I don't need to check if it's working okay, but I'm going to open up GMAX and show the same process in GMAX, and then show you how to export it. File, import. I'm going to go to... What do you know? It doesn't import... Objects. Forgot about that. Okay. So, yep, that's not gonna work. I gotta export three. It, it has a 3ds uh, 3ds, and uh, well, I'll just make another map. It doesn't take that long. So I'll just let it open here. Gonna go create a create a box. Right click. Convert it to an edible mesh. Come back over here. Select it all. Flip it. Clear all. Turn the grid off. Right click edge faces. And as you can probably find out now, I'm basically, like I said, it's basically the same. Go to zero. Test light a few times. Select the polys on the bottom. Bevelate and uh, let's see. Go to my material editor, new multi material, but I'm just gonna add one here because it's all the same. So I'll go tutorial, copy the name, parent up, parent up, you know, and then drop and drag and select all of it. Go down, add WM, WV mapping, make it a box map so everything looks okay. Okay, so now that we've made a box, we're going to go box, make a new one, call it, going to call it frame, link the box to the frame, go to my little hammer, go to max script, run script, go to the place where you have chimp 1.6, go into chimp, Chimp 1.6, chimp.ms, open it up, select chimp, it's going to come up like this. You want it to be a listener window, and don't write debug info, then export your halo structure, it goes through its work, put that down for a second, go to chimp in your explorer, go to chimp 1.6, go to the quick listener, go to the grab listener, open up the executable file it's gonna ask you where you want to save this and instead of saving it in my Halo Cosmetition file I'm just gonna save this as bliss.jms on the desktop it's gonna create a folder here or a little file I mean go to edit you can look at all the good stuff from right in here and you would put this JMS in the same place that you put the other JMS from 3ds Max so now that you know how to use Chimp, and uh, you should be ready for GMAX. So you can close that, and now we will continue on with our creation. So now I'm going to go to the command.exe, and uh, it's nice and big here. I made it bigger for the tutorial. So I'm going to go tool, space, structure, levels, test tutorial well actually it's not it's levels bliss space bliss and that should be the correct yep okay there we go it's building intermediate geometry and we're gonna see if we get any open edges and it might complain about the decal if that is so I'll show you a quick fix nope Looks like it was okay with everything, and uh, looks like it built just fine. That's that right there is a normal, a normal build right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And uh, for anybody who doesn't know, what I just did there was build something in Tool. Now to 
use tool, you need to put the cmd.exe 